Hello, this is part one of a tutorial on the basics of Keycloak. It is targeted to Java developers. In part one, you will secure two browser applications and one REST service. You will create a realm, roles, users, and role mappings for those users. Finally, you will register these applications and services within the Keycloak administration console. Here is a picture of what our secure deployment will look like when we get done with this tutorial. We have two applications in this tutorial that make backend calls to a secured REST database. The customer portal is a simple web application that just displays a list of customers. The product portal is similar, but it displays a list of products. When the browser visits the customer portal site, the user will be redirected to the Keycloak server to log in. Once the user is logged in, they are redirected back to the customer portal. Customer Portal obtains a token from the Keycloak server from which it makes a secure background REST invocation to the database service to obtain the listing of customers and then it displays it. Product Portal works similarly um, except it may, it's getting a product list from the backend database REST service. So let's get to work. The first thing we're going to do is bring up the Keycloak server. What I have done is I've downloaded and extracted the Keycloak appliance distribution. This distribution contains a fully functional Keycloak server. If you go to the Keycloak appliance directory, you'll see a few subdirectories. I'm in it right now, so let's do an ls here. And you see we have an adapters directory, docs directory, examples, and Keycloak. If you go, the, the server lives under this Keycloak directory here. And the Keycloak server in this distribution is based on the WalletFly application server, which is the community upstream project of JBoss. To bring up the server, we'll go to the Keycloak bin directory. And uh, we'll type uh, standalone.sh. Hit return. For those of you who have developed on WalletFly JBoss, this procedure will look very, very, very familiar to you. Now that we have started the server, we need to go to the Keycloak administration console to set up the realm for our demo. Let's bring up a browser here. Okay, going to HTTP localhost colon 8080 slash auth will bring us to the Keycloak welcome page. From this page, you have links to our documentation, uh, our mailing lists, and other, um, and other links to our community site. But the one we're interested in is going to the administration console, so let's click on that. This is the login page for the admin console. When it first boots up out of the box, Keycloak will automatically create a master realm that is used to create application realms. It also defines an admin user called admin with the default password of admin. When I enter in this username and password, I will be asked to change this admin password. So let me do that right now. Admin, admin. Click the login button here. And you see it says uh, you need to change your password to activate your account. So let's do that. Change it to something else. Whoops, I got an error here. Um, I did not type in the confirmation of my new password correctly. So let's do it again. Hit submit. This finally brings me to the admin console. Uh, and initially, I'm brought to the master realm of the Keycloak server. This master realm is generally not used to secure your applications, but instead to manage access to the server itself. So what we want to do is we want to create a brand new fresh realm to build our demo in. To create a new realm, I'll click the admin button, which is at the top right corner of our UI. This brings me to the add realm page. There are two ways you can create a realm. You can import it from a JSON file by clicking this button here, or you can create a new realm, a new fresh clean realm by um, specifying a, the name of the realm here and clicking submit. We're going to choose the latter option and the name of our realm is going to be demo. So I type demo here, I click save, and now I have a new realm called demo. 
like C. I can go back to the master realm if I need to. And but we're going to be dealing with the demo realm. Now that we have created our demo realm, uh, we're going to create some realm level roles for it. To do that, we click on the role left menu item here to get to the realm level roles page. Realm level roles are permissions that span the entire realm. And for our demo, we're, our applications are going to need two roles to be created and defined, specifically a user role and an admin role. So let's create them. So I'll click on the add role button here. Specify a role name of user. Description is user privileges. Let's see if I can spell it right. And I'll click save. You go back to the listing, you now you see that the user role is defined. Let's so add another role called admin. Admin privileges. Click save. Go back to the realm roles. And you see we have our admin role defined there too. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we're going to create a user that can actually log in and play with our demo. So we're going to go to the user's left side menu here. Okay, now that uh, we have created our roles, we need to create some users. Some users that I can actually log in and view our applications. So to do that, we're going to click on the users menu item here. And you see we're brought to the user list page. And we're going to click the add user button. I'll specify a username of bburk at redhat.com. My email will be the same thing. I'll put in my first name and my last name. One interesting thing about the admin console is that uh, it has a bunch of tool tips. If you look at the information icon here, if you um, put your mouse over that, you'll see a short description of what that particular menu item does. But anyway, we'll click Save here. And now I have a new user called B. Burke. The next thing we need to do is uh, we need to assign a password to B. Burke. So we're going to click on the credentials menu item here. Um, there are two ways you can assign a password to a user. You can create a temporary password for them. In that case, it would be like uh, when we first logged into the admin console, we'll have to change the password when we first log in. Or you can create a permanent one. And we're going to create a permanent one, so we're going to click, click temporary to be off. We're going to specify our new pass. We're going to specify the new password. We're going to confirm it. And we're going to set reset the password. Okay. okay, so now we have a password for our user. Next thing we're going to do is set up role mappings for the user. We're going to give them permissions. And we're going to assign the user permission to this user. Click assign role. And you see that the user is assigned. So our first user has been created and we've assigned roles to them. Now what we have to do is we have to register the applications that are going to be secured by this demo. To do that, we need to go to the Applications link here on the left menu. Click Applications. And um, Kikulk has some built-in applications, specifically uh, the Security Admin Console and some other things that you can view in our documentation. But what, what you're interested in here is the Add Application button. So we're going to click that, and we're going to define our customer portal application. Okay, that will be the name of our application. It will be customer portal. Next thing we have to do is decide the access type of the application. By default, the access type of the application is confidential. This means that our application requires a client secret in order to obtain a token from the authentication server. So that is the most secure way to deploy an application, so we'll keep that there. We also are required to specify a redirect URI pattern. When a user requests a login to a specific application, 
they will, after they log in, they will be redirected back to a redirect URI that's specified by the application. You have to specify this. Uh, Keycloak requires you to specify this particular uh, URI. You can put in a relative URI if you want, and that's what we're going to do. This will be relative to the authentication server because I actually have um, the customer portal deployed on the same machine. So it'll be customer portal slash star. So basically any URLs that follow this particular pattern will be allowed to redirect back to the actual application. Click save here. Oh, I forgot to click add. Don't forget to click add. And then we'll click save here. Another thing I want to specify is the admin URL. This is a callback URL from the Keycloak auth server to the application when it wants to push information to that application. Some things that it might want to push are might want to log out a specific user, it might want to push a revocation policy, uh, might want to get stats from the customer portal. Really, um, any administrative function will go through this particular URL. For JBoss deployments, for JBoss applications, you just need to specify the root URL of the application. Again, we can specify a relative URL, or if it's on another machine, specify the uh, whole URL. Okay, we'll click Save. Okay, next thing we need to define is the product portal. We need to register that application. So we'll go back to the applications list. We'll click the Add Application button. Specify product portal. It'll also be confidential. We'll specify a fully qualified URL this time. It's important to put the wildcard there unless you want to. Uh, well, you can have multiple URLs if you want. For instance, I could have a I can allow that URL. A lot of wildcard too. So you can have you can have specific URLs or you can have wildcards there. So we'll save that. We'll specify the admin URL, and then we'll be done. Okay. Finally, we have to define the database servers. It, this service is a REST-only service. It's a REST service, so what we'll have for access type option is bearer only. This means that it only accepts token authentication. It, browsers will never visit this particular application. Click Save. And now we're all set up. Our Realm in, is all set up within the Keycloak database, within the Keycloak server. So what we're going to do now is uh, go to part two of this particular tutorial. And in that part, we will actually configure the actual applications so that they can be secured by the Keycloak authentication server. So go back to our documentations page on our website and click on the part two link. Thanks.